welcome back to Dirt Bike Magazine's video series, Hardware, where we take you up close and personal with all the four-stroke project bikes that we built throughout the years. Project bike we appropriately call the Grey Ghost, and it's a 2021 Yamaha YZ250F. We wanted to add a little bit to this motorcycle. The bike comes stock, a pretty good overall package. It's had a lot of success on the professional level this year, but we think we can make it better. So we enlisted the help of the crew at Racetech. Now you might think Racetech is all about suspension, but they also have a fully functional and capable engine department that can do engine rebuilds, can do porting, head jobs, anything you need basically on the engine, they can do in-house at Racetech. Suspension and the engine went to Racetech. We decided to upgrade some of the other parts with, for handling wise, we put FCP racing engine mounts on to kind of make it a little bit, little bit more pliable. We wanted to change the look of the motorcycle, so we used UFO all gray plastics, and then Decal Works topped off the new look with a semi-custom graphics kit. Other companies included on the build are Dunlop, Super Sprocks, TM Design Works, FMF Racing, Works Connection, Henson, like we mentioned before, UFO Plastics, Uni Air Filters, and ODI Handlebars and Lock-On Grips. That's enough talking, we're gonna go ride. <laughs> Like we said in the beginning of this video, making this Yamaha YZ250F better was gonna be tough. But we were able to achieve a little bit more rider comfort and a little bit more power overall. We didn't get huge amounts of power increase out of the engine, but with the engine, the mapping from Racetech, and then the addition of the FMF pipe, there was performance gauge throughout the power band. So we're happy with that. If you want really big gains on engine performance, you're gonna have to spend a fairly substantial amount of money. That's not where we were at with this particular project. Um, handling wise, overall we went a little bit softer and then we did add FCP engine mounts that just give the bike a little bit more front end traction. Overall, a little bit more rider friendly. The bike is a little bit more predictable. That might be what you're looking for out of the YZ250, if not, we do recommend trying these things because they do make a difference. When it comes to making the bike look different, the all, all gray plastic from UFO, the moto seat, and the graphics, that the decal works graphics that put it all together, just makes this bike stand out. For the complete story on this particular build, head over to dirtbikemagazine.com to check out our behind the scenes feature. And we just got done testing the TE300i and the Beta 250RR. Go check those videos out and don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date on all of our latest releases.